Hello everyone, Rice Time 911 here, and today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to fix fill planes of converged mods for Farming Simulator 2017. So, there's basically two things you're going to need to do for this tutorial. And for one, you're going to need to add the XML as well as the I3D. So, go ahead and open those up, the XML file. Usually, it'll have the name of the mod or something similar as a name for XML, and you'll see it says XML document. There's also the mod desk, you're not going to open that, just XML. Okay, now also your I3D file, go ahead and open that up. And now, while that's loading, there's a set I provided, it's in the description, where, which you can download. It gives you three things that will really help you to go through this tutorial. So, one thing it's going to give you is this code here, sample code, which you can use to follow along in this tutorial and edit the code in your XML really easily. And the next thing, the other thing, is a short written tutorial, which is not as clear as the video tutorial you're watching now, but Perhaps it may provide some help. And also, in that pack, I provided a fill plane set. So it'll provide everything you need to get your fill planes working. Which is what we're going to do now. So what you're going to want to do now is, in your i3d file, go ahead and import that fill plane set that I gave you. So go ahead and import that. And you'll see four things when you import that set. Deform nodes, height nodes, effect nodes, and particle nodes. So really, all you need to worry about if it's a convert mod is the deform nodes. So go ahead and cut that and paste it into your mod. And then at the very bottom of your mod, you'll see deform nodes. And usually what you want to do is just around the top of the vehicle, you're just going to want to place them around like so. Generally just covering area around where the fill plane box is going to be. So basically where your grain is going to show up. These deform nodes will control what it looks like. So you'll just want to place them around like that. Now, once you've got all your deform node set up. You'll just go and save. And now we're going to look at the XML. So you open the XML of the mod right here. So now you're going to scroll down until you see fill volumes and fill volume fill volume heights. So these two parts are really what we're going to edit in order to get our fill planes working again which is basically the pile of grain you see in game when you go to load your trailer or box. So, what you're going to do now is you're going to go to the sample code and copy these deform nodes and then you're going to paste them right about here. And now, what you're going to want to do is just delete the bracket right about here and now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to copy this here and you're going to paste it right over here. And now, you're going to go here, copy this code, and paste it right here. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut fill volume heights, the whole block, and paste it in between fill volumes and fill volumes, just like so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this here code, heights, height, fill volume index, and paste it over this. And you're going to take heights and height and paste it over here. And that's pretty much 
all you need to do. You got all of your code having the right names. So as you can see, there's build volumes, build volumes here, then there's a section for volumes now, and a section for heights. And this is what you're going to want to look like, something like this. Now, you have indexes for your deform nodes, and we're just going to go ahead and get those now. So remember that build plane set you imported into your i3D? Well, the deform node section, that's what we're interested in. So we're going to go into there, and as you can see, build volume deform node. So now, in your attributes panel, which if you don't have it, go window attributes, you're going to look for the index path, which we can see is 0360, so we'll copy that. And just looking through these, we see that it's 0360, 0361, and so on, all the way up to 9. So we can just follow that general pattern with the same thing. So I'll just show you what I mean here. So 0360, just paste that in for all of them. And now I'll just change it to 1, no, not 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then we're going to need 2 more, so 8 and 9. Now save it. And there you go. Oh, wait, no. Save it now that you got it actually right. And there. So that's how we're going to want the code to look to have our fill volumes work, which is the fill plane, which is the grain you see in game when you go to fill the trailer. So now this should all work if you have your code all laid out like this. And you see, the thing is, we didn't have to touch these indexes because they already had the right names in front. See how with the sample code here, we already had rep node index and node index. And here it's already node index and rep node index. So basically, this was old code before when it said fill height volumes or whatever it said there and we changed it to volumes because that's what it's asking for now in 17. So basically all we did was update it to be FS17 standards. And I just removed that extra equal sign there because we didn't need it. Okay, so now save up the XML, close it, save your i3D, and close it. And now, take everything and pack it back in the zip file, and then copy it into your mods folder. And then go and test it in game, and if you did it right, all your fill planes should work properly, which would be probably one. So just a quick note, be sure to select your mod when you go test the in-game. Okay, so now we're in game and we're going to test that our fixing the fill planes work. So here we are. Let's just fill up canola because that's what we have the most of. Um, why is it so dark? Let me just fix that real quick. So if you see now, we see our fill plane works correctly, which is pretty cool, ain't it? So yeah, that's a quick, easy tutorial on how to fix your fill planes for Farming Simulator 17 for converted mods. I thank you very much for watching, and I hope this tutorial has helped you to, well, fix fill planes, because that's the whole point of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.